After many days of the Destiny community trying to solve an insanely complex puzzle, many people losing sleep, tons of effort being put in, lots of programs being made to figure out how to solve this puzzle, Bastion was the weapon behind this puzzle from exploring the corridors of time. Bastion's a pretty unique weapon. I think there was a lot of hype for this weapon because it was seen to be the first kinetic fusion rifle. And well, did that hold true? Kinda. In game, technically Bastion is classified as a fusion rifle. It's the 80 impact and 740 charge time. It does have liquid coil, so in game it does appear as a 780 charge time. But anyways, this matches the traditional fusion archetype of the main ingredient. Now although Bastion does share those traits of the 740 charge time and 80 impact with that main ingredient archetype, that's about all it shares and it's actually pretty far from a traditional fusion rifle. Bastion's first and main exotic perk is Saint's Fists, charged to fire 3 spreads of kinetic slugs. Its second perk is Breakthrough, a portion of this weapon's damage bypasses elemental shields. So Bastion essentially charges like a fusion rifle, but it shoots 3 rapid shotgun like pellet bursts. Each of those bursts have 7 pellets in them, each dealing approximately 30 damage, so this means you're going to get about 210 damage per pellet spread, which if we multiply that by 3, because there are 3 spreads in total in each burst, you're essentially dealing a hypothetical total of up to 630 damage per charge. To compare this to a traditional fusion rifle, a traditional 740 RPM fusion deals 40 damage per bolt, with liquid coils, and compare it to a high impact shotgun, these normally deal about 21 to 22 damage to the body per pellet. I should say the pellet spread of each of these bursts or one single spread looks to be pretty consistent and has six outer pellets surrounding a center pellet in kind of a hexagon kind of form. Perhaps this is a nod to the puzzle, but either way, it seems to be pretty consistent like this, which is less like a traditional shotgun which has a bit more RNG G to its pellet spread. Of course, just by the basic numbers that we've taken down already, we know that it is possible to kill in one spread in shotgun range, but honestly, anywhere past that will likely take more, either the second or the third one as well. And honestly, it didn't seem like damage drop off or damage at range was too big of an issue. Hypothetically, you're really able to pump out a lot of damage within those three quick spreads in one burst, but it seemed like it was the consistency of this that made it harder to really kill targets at range. Of course, the pellets, like I said, are consistent. It's just landing that at certain ranges, it just wasn't really possible to deal a lot of damage, probably because of the spread of the pellets and how that expands over range like a shotgun would. Both a mix of that and the fact that there's quite a lot of recoil to control while it's shooting each spread within the burst. That rapid three shots does have a lot of kick and it's hard to keep it lined up on a target. For those of you who are interested though, damage drop off will begin anywhere outside of 15 meters for Bastion. And it seemed like it was a little difficult to land a one burst kill outside of I want to say 16 meters, which oddly enough is similar to Chaperone's Roadborne range. Naturally, because of the insanely high damage output that you can get in one burst across those three spreads, this is actually very very good against supers, it can completely demolish a super in just a single burst with those 3 spreads, again because of that just raw damage output. The second perk of damage bypassing shields didn't seem to be relevant in PvP, I tried to test this a few times, there wasn't any scenarios where I saw the health bar going down while the shields went down for a bleed through style effect, so I don't think this is relevant in PvP to my knowledge. So sure, I think Bastion's a very interesting weapon and a very unique weapon, but it really lacks an identity. It finds itself somewhere between a shotgun and a fusion rifle, but it doesn't quite do either very well. On one hand, it does have a higher one hit kill range than a traditional shotgun, and this is because of a few reasons. Firstly, even just one pellet spread does have a further range than a traditional shotgun because it has higher damage per pellet and a more consistent spread. So this of course does give it a better one hit kill range, and just adding on to that, because it fires what would be three of an improved traditional shotgun shot, so with three pellet spreads, that obviously leads it to have a very, very good one burst kill range. However, it does have the charge time of a fusion rifle, so it lacks the instant DPS of a shotgun. Just the fact that with a traditional shotgun, you can react and just deal instant damage 
instant high damage and maybe even just get an instant kill with that is very very valuable and what makes shotgun so powerful this does not have that because as much as that has better range it has the charge time of one of the higher charge time fusion rifles on the other side comparing it as a fusion rifle well it doesn't have quite the consistency or range of a traditional fusion rifle we think of air until and even just the main ingredient archetype and how consistently far those weapons can get kills from and that's because they deal all their damage higher damage of course per bolt because there's just one bolt and it's mainly a vertical spread that you can control and of course this makes it more consistent it isn't quite like a shotgun or the bastion that has a cone of pellets that of course expands the further out you go that you don't really have much control over in any way and that makes it less consistent and have less range potential than a traditional fusion rifle so again this is really the hybrid of a shotgun and a fusion rifle I think of this like the AA-12 back in Modern Warfare 2 the AA-12 fired at a very very similar rate of fire to this weapon fires its three pellet spreads in its burst. However, it's as if the AA-12 required a charge to be used. That's really how I think about this weapon. I mean, how you could even say, well, it gets a good one burst kill range at about 16 meters, which is great, but at that point, why wouldn't you just use chaperone? I realize that chaperone takes, of course, a headshot, so more precision, but you're gonna get more consistency out of it as a whole. So why not use that? And it has that instant kill that I talked about that is the main benefit of using a shotgun. It's an instantaneous kill. And if we're going to go there, why not just use Lord of Wolves? So as much as this is a very, very unique weapon, I really think it struggles to find itself an identity. And unfortunately, it wasn't the kinetic fusion rifle that we were really expecting. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the Bastion. If you guys like this video and you want to see more content like this, check me out on Twitch. It's Twitch twitch.tv slash truskies. I hope to see you guys there. I stream nearly every day and I just got back from vacation. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.